this week it's been you know like it's been a short week uh since we have uh the market is closed on on friday on uh, good friday right uh and you know easter weekend so um uh, you know it's been a short week but the actions for the week it's 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 been crazy uh you know like i mean it's it's not that bad uh if you look at veru uh it's been around a few days uh i was i was uh, a bit busy on thursday since i had some business to attend to so i couldn't be around much but i took like you know one trade on my laptop uh right at the open uh you know it's it's pretty good uh, actually it's like three bucks uh yeah it's, it's nothing like full size or anything like that uh but uh it, it was okay right a good win you know like three bucks you know just doing the math 100 shares 200 shares like 600 right away right so 300 600 right even with the small shares guys okay so uh do not worry too much about you know sizing up or like you know uh trying to bang uh or like you know trying to have a uh, a big size on those you have to kind of look at your account and and follow that but as you can see here the veru um on thursday look at the line guys you know the, those are the pivots right this is like pretty much what i'm preaching every single day or like what we preach every single day at mic uh lines aka aka i don't know pivots uh resistance support and resistance uh, pretty much right uh but look at the line you know at 1589 uh i think i got around like 1589 too uh let me pull up the chart uh i only saved like few charts to go over this week uh you know but you no know, hopefully you can learn good lessons from it but uh here's the trade i took on my laptop on thursday uh since i wasn't you know my setup wasn't at home so i couldn't do much but uh you know i tried to kind of uh you know turn on uh my computer uh around market open to see uh what's going on and i, I literally saw that line right the pivot here and this is exactly what i did i put an order out there of course i have like you know risk in mind and i was literally risking over this one probably like 50 60 cents something like that over this candle uh 1661 uh so if, if you know it was strong into that if it pushed way too strong into this uh you know i'm probably gonna get out on that dip back to the support i mean like especially in a few minutes open guys you don't have to panic i mean you should you should be able to uh more like you know sustain the range okay you cannot simply put like 10 cents or 20 cents on 16 dollar stock so i would say on something like this it has to be like minimum like 50 cents to a dollar okay but uh if you use uh a little bit more size and probably 50 cents or like you know if you use less size a dollar would be nice so you can have more room for the stock to work for you uh but in this case you know i got in here and stopped literally over this candle or like you know pretty much like pre-market high right here and look at what i got like three bucks almost like you know yeah almost like three bucks but pretty much like a dead bottom here so i was pretty happy with this trade uh you know to the point that uh, i wasn't at home and i wasn't prepared good enough but uh I saw and you know it was like uh trying to push into that 16 uh 50 here and then you know went down to like 14 50 and said you know this 16 line is good uh if it breaks over that you know 16 50 i have to stop out right i have to respect that uh but uh you know great neon bell trade uh you know like if you have a lot of formal chasing down here you, like those people were chasing down here that's why they got stopped out you know around my entry pretty much so keep it simple guys okay look at the lines i mean you know it's like why you know why i always said uh the first time it gets there right so here this line 16 line first time it gets there rejects second time it gets there 
it broke, you know, like over 16, right? So we should aim for this line. So first time it gets there, that's the best, you know, shot. I mean, it looks scary because that's where everyone is stopping out, right? But if you want to trade the first resistance, get there the first time, okay? Not the second time, not the third time, not the fourth time. I mean, you could make, you know, scalping the range, but you're not bow, okay? Uh, not like everyone is like bow. Uh, he's, he's like beast, uh, okay? His technical skills are like the best in the Hmong. Like, I haven't seen a trader like him. I haven't seen anyone trade like him, like so good like him. Uh, it's just like he reads the chart so well. He's, he's like, you know, super, super uh, good with his technical analysis. Uh, but, you know, it's not easy, okay? And he's super patient as well. He, he's like pretty much putting out orders into those lines and not, well, not like everyone can do that. Uh, a lot of us like have FOMO, that's why we chase here, crack the support. You know, I assume a lot of people slam into this red to green. That's why I got that squeeze. Okay. You know. And uh, yeah, so that's the very trade. And another one I took on Thursday, uh, on Tuesday. Let me pull. On Tuesday here. Like this, this is like more like scalp, I would say, you know, when it cracked this, uh, you know, try to push into that 15 and then on the view app, try to push over that view app rejects. Uh, so crack this support. So that's why I like it, you know, being a one more time tested into view app here and I covered, you know, everything here, but which is sucks. Uh, you know, if I aim for that 14 again, I could have gotten, I mean, at least geez like four bucks or something like that i think that one was like the second day this is like really the best uh right pretty much like low hanging fruit uh but it's not really broken yet but you can use the resistance to trade those uh and then look at that you know the moment it cracked that 11 right here key support and then it just like went down here to like 10 so i mean pretty stress-free trade there if you 